Yeah, Eckling. Right, and hope you're all good. We are back with another match day, and this could be a crucial one. It is fun against Claycross. Of course, we saw Claycross the other week in that game against Harworth. You know, the, a weird, weird game. But we're back with Thorne. We haven't seen Thorne since the end of ja the end of um, the end of the year last year. So it's been good. It's been kind of a long time coming, and well, this could have serious, serious connotations for this tight race at the Central Midlands. So, are you ready? Are you comfy? Sit back and relax. We'll see you with Thorn first. It is good to be back in Thorn once again. When I came here, it was sunny, it was warm, and it was a July, and I had two people with me today. Just done my jolly ones today, and I, you know, that's the way that they've done that out. And the way that they've done the ground out, fantastic. Right then, it's good to be back. It's been nearly a year since I was last year, but this is a massive, massive game for Thorne. Win today, then we'll take you to the final day. Anything other than that, Newark will be champions tonight if Thorne don't win. If Thorne win, they'll have a shot on the final day, which means Newark will have to, they only need a point if, you know, at, at Glatwell, which won't be an easy game. Thorne have to beat Redford United on the Saturday to make sure that they are champions. So there's a lot, there's a lot riding on this tonight. So that's why I wanted to come here tonight because this game could be amazing. But yeah, we saw Clay Cross last week against Harworth, which I think, I think a lot of people are surprised at that 4-1 game. I don't think many people would predicted that, but the one we haven't seen since the back end of last year. So it's good to see them back as well. So two good sides, two people I respect, of course, two clubs. Um, clubs that have really competed as well this season, so I'm going to go. Ooh, I'm going to go two one to Thorn. <laughs> we'll see if it first up. I'm going to enjoy my burger actually. Look at that, great turnout tonight. And it's actually quite a nice evening, look at that. That is just very, very picturesque. Interesting ball. Pace, pace, pace. He's falling out the pitch. Oh, they're in the clear. Has he, has he taken it too wide? It's in. Just what Thorne needed and just the start they wanted. It's a good finish. I thought he'd taken it too wide. First blood to Thorne in this game. What I love about non-league is you always get dogs at the football. They just want to play. I just it's just it's great. There's a little husky over there. There he is. There he is. He's got a really cute face. Oh. I'll tell you what, that's a close and a half that. Oh, oh keepers lost it! It's 2-0. Wow, he looks embarrassed to score that. Wow, it's 2-0. But persistence has got him there. And wow, it's it's all going swimmingly for Thorne right now. Here we go. It's gone all the way through. What a block. Nine turn was magnificent. It, it got him into that space, but what a piece of defending though. And that's probably the first real kind of threat that Clay Cross have really got here so far. Was away. I have to say, I mean, it's been a good game so far. Clay Cross have moved ball nicely. Both teams have been good. Say 2-0, there will be more goals in this game. I've, jinx I've said that before and I've jinxed the game, but there will be more goals in this game. Ooh. 
chance. That was a chance. It was a good chance. And to be honest, he's not a million miles away. Good ball. What's he going to do? Just get in him. Great block. Free header. What a cross. It's a free header. He's got to do better for me there. And there it is. Well, there we go. The perfect one for throwing the 2-0 up. And to be honest, I'd say they've been a better team. I mean, they start quickly. They got that first goal, the opening goal. Kind of settled it down. But there's been moments where they've looked a little nervy. But Clay Cross have certainly had a couple of good chances. A couple of good chances. The second goal, though, it was a howler from the keeper. But you've got to give full credit to the guy that, you know, the, the goal scorer, persistence paid off for him. And you know what? They've taken the goals well. They've looked good. Both teams still look good, I have to say. They still want to play a lot, some good football on this good surface right here. So there we go. All to play for second half. More goals. We'll see you for the second half. And we are back underway. Love how it says beer here. There is no beer. Back post. He's in. Now that would have been some starts at second half and it was a great cross, didn't deal with it. And he's got to do better for me there. So I've got a bit of football. We've got a bit of skillies over here as well. Nice. Put it back. It's good early ball. I heard the impact, that's for certain. Go. Oh, set the ball with you, man. Yeah, the pace has not lacked as it's not been as good as it was at first half, but the city still has been some good play, has been a bit scrappy, but it's still 2-0 at the moment. He's in. Brilliant save. Brilliant save. On the turn, that was absolutely superb. And the keeper, wow. Hasn't really been called on much today, but when he has done, he's been brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Eckling. Oh. Pace has dropped off, but that was a chance. That was a real chance for Clay Cross. They probably have had the best chance of the second half, but they've just not put them away. They've, they've got to be more clinical. Nice. Oh, take him on. Bit of quality. Oh! It had all the promise, and in the end, the execution just wasn't good enough. All keepers lost it. Ooh, shaky grounds. Oh, hello. Bit of handbags. <laughs> oh, it's a good effort. Like I said, Clay Cross have probably had the better chances in the second half. They, just, they haven't been as clinical as Fona, but they've given it a good go, but yeah, still 2-0. Oh He's got this, has he? Oh! Just to wrap it up. Oh! There was nothing wrong with that. Not a chance. He just lost a battle of strength. They lost the battle of strength. But they've got a corner. Ooh. All the way. Oh, how's he? His voice cracks. Now that's it. Crucial, and we'll speak in a sec. So there we go. Um, what a crucial win that was for Thorne. They really needed that to take it to the final day, and they've done that. And they've given themselves a chance. Give them the chance and you have to say fair play to them. I mean, the game itself, I mean, yeah, they took the goals well. Um, the first one, he did well. He rounded the keeper. 
you know, I thought he went too wide, but um, good finish. I mean, second one was a bit of a howler, but, you know, he, I think positions really paid off for them. So, overall, I've got to say the two goals, like I said, from a clay cross point of view, you didn't want to be conceding them, but from a form point of view, you take, the, you take it when you can. But yeah, second half was you know, a bit disappointing, really. I mean, clay cross probably had the better of the chances. In fact, they did have the better of the chances, but clinical eyes, they weren't that, they just weren't there. I think, you know, frustration, you know, on the management side, yeah, they got in some good areas and they didn't didn't really test the keep as much as they wanted to. But there we go. I mean, you you've got to say, you know, full credit to Phil for winning the game. They kinda of took the sting out the kind of say the sting out of it a little bit, but there we go. They've taken it to the final day and they've given themselves a chance. So good luck to Thorne in the final day. Clay Cross, they've been brilliant this season, so and I've got a lot of respect for them. So I will see you then very, very soon. And make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course. And we're back on Friday for another final. We're back at Donny. So, yeah, we'll see you then. Peace.